Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an Ubuntu LAMP server installation. And LAMP, of course, short for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So let's get started. We're going to open up a terminal window. And we're going to give the command sudo apt get install task cell. Put in our password. Now, the task cell package is a simple interface to um, be able to select some general tasks for your machine. Um, the Ubuntu server version should already have task cell installed, so this step may not be necessary so it is downloading and unpacking the necessary packages for task cell at the moment and I will pause the video and come back as soon as this is finished okay task cell is now installed so we're gonna go ahead and run that with sudo task cell command And as you can see, uh, this is a really straightforward way to be able to select uh, different tasks for your machine. If you want to turn it into a mail server, you can just check that box and it'll download and install the necessary packages to be a mail server. But we're going to do LAMP server. So I'm going to hit the space bar to select that, and tab over to OK. And before I continue, you should also know that task cell should only be used for selecting new tasks. Uh, removing tasks, you should not use task cell for that. You may cripple your machine. So we're going to go ahead and say OK on the LAMP server. And it's going to start installing the packages. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and return as soon as this is finished. All right, now it's prompting us for the MySQL root user password. You don't have to supply one at this time. If you want something different, you can go ahead and give that now. And one more time. And it will continue to install the necessary packages. I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video until these are all done. Alright, so we're all done with task cell. We're going to go ahead and test out our Apache and PHP installation but before we continue uh, I've found that it works best if you just go ahead and restart the Apache service now that everything's installed uh, but when I went through this a few times before trying to test the PHP right after everything had been installed wouldn't work so we're gonna go ahead and do a sudo service Apache 2 restart okay so that's alright so we're gonna go ahead and open up web browser let's go ahead and go to localhost and if you can see this page then you know that Apache is working properly and we're gonna come back here and do a sudo gedit slash var slash www which is the directory where Apache looks for your HTML PHP files by default and we're gonna go ahead and call the file php test.php and we'll put a little bit of PHP in here our opening and closing tags and we'll give the PHP info command we'll save that let's try our php test.php and if you can see this page, you know that PHP is configured and working properly. And that's all there is to it to turn your Ubuntu installation into a LAMP server.